Amazing facts about Sony's PlayStation 3. It was released all the way back at the end of 2006. The PS3 was first announced at the E3 convention in 2005 and finally hit shelves in Japan on November 11, 2006 and in North America on November 17. The rest of the world had to wait a few months due to delays with gamers in Europe, New Zealand, Australia, Africa, and the Middle East only able to get their hands on a console by March 23, 2007. The PS3 was sold for less than its production cost. The basic PS3 version, which had a 20 gigabytes hard drive, sold at a loss of 300 United States dollars, with the 60 gigabytes version selling for an additional loss of 240 United States dollars. While this might seem totally bizarre, it wasn't that unusual at the time. The idea was that Sony would make up the loss through games and additional hardware sales. While the Xbox 360 was also sold at a loss, the loss was only 130 United States dollars per console. It really wasn't that great in its first few years. To start with, it was crazy expensive for a console at the time. The 60 gigabytes model was 599 United States dollars and the 20 gigabytes model was 499 United States dollars. Sure, superfans raved on and on about how much potential the PS3 had in terms of raw gaming power, but there just weren't that many games available at release. By the end of 2006, there were only 17 titles available. The PS3 also came with a completely redesigned controller. Dubbed the Success-Axis, the controller was a complete step away from its predecessors. This allowed players to use movements of the controller itself to control what was going on in some games. That said, it was a downgrade in some ways from the PS to controller, as it didn't contain any haptic feedback technology. The PS3 was the first console to allow gamers to play with each other online easily. Previous consoles, including the PS2, touched on this idea, but none were very successful. The PS3's online networking capabilities were much more special because it was completely free. The US Air Force built a supercomputer out of network PS3S. From the moment the PlayStation 3 was announced, computer geeks worldwide were excited. Supercomputers at the time were so incredibly expensive that it was actually cheaper and often better to network a bunch of PS3S and use them as one. The Air Force Research Laboratory did just this by connecting 1760 PS3S to 168 extra graphics units and 84 servers, nicknaming their project the Condor Cluster. The PS3 was the first console to allow gamers to play with each other online easily. Previous consoles, including the PS2, touched on this idea, but none were very successful. The PS3's online networking capabilities were much more special because it was completely free. There were three main PS3 models. The first model, often referred to as the PS3 Fat, was the least acclaimed due to its price and lack of games at release. The following model was the PS3 Slim, released on September 1st, 2009. It was wildly popular in comparison to the first model. The final model was the PS3 Super Slim, which was released on September 28, 2012. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.